What did it really take to go from zero experience to working in IT as a network engineer? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Welcome to my first video. This is Bravo Config 99. I'm going to be documenting my journey to become a network engineer. The wins, the setbacks, everything in between. And I'm kicking things off with how I passed my CCNA in 2025. The exact steps that I took, how I studied, what worked, what didn't work, and how it helped me break into the tech industry in 2025. If you're on a similar path, I just getting started, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. So why did I even choose CCNA? After months of looking into the industry, I kept seeing one name pop up again and again, CCNA. It's like, in my opinion, the gold standard for getting started in networking. I'd always been into tech, but I wanted to actually understand and not just mess around with it. Before this, I was jumping between topics and looking at different things. The CCNA gave me the structure and it forced me to really learn how networking works. Routing, switching, IP addressing, subnetting, even APIs and cloud with the new updates to CCNA. It's a lot. Like drinking from a fire hydrant, but I knew I needed something that proved I had the fundamentals, especially if I wanted to keep going into more advanced certs later on. So that's why I chose the CCNA. Here's how I studied for it. I gave myself around five to six months. I was working full time in an insurance job. So most days I'd finish work at about 5 p.m. I'd get home and study for a couple of hours. When I worked from home, I'd have YouTube videos of course material playing in the background whilst I did my day job. Even on commutes, podcasts, and whilst walking the dog, I just tried to immerse myself in as much study material as possible. Now, the resources that I used were CBT Nuggets, which I paid for monthly, Jeremy's IT Labs, Cisco Packet Tracer for virtual labs, and I even bought a home lab from somebody who'd just done CCNA and was working at Cisco. If you want to see my CCNA home lab set up, let me know in the comments. Biggest tip, don't just memorize stuff. Understand why it works. That's what helps in the exam and in interviews later on. Sitting the exam. Let's talk about the exam. So it cost me about 500 Australian dollars. It's 120 minutes long, roughly 100 questions. You'll get a mix of multiple choice, drag and drop and the simulations. And let me tell you, those sims did catch me off guard because you need to know your CLI commands inside out. Sometimes just getting one stuck can really mess things up. I failed in the first time. Honestly, I just didn't feel great that day. Things weren't happening for me. There were a few tech issues. The experience threw me off and it just didn't go well. But after seeing the exam, I knew I could pass. I was just unlucky on that attempt. So I booked another one straight away for the week after. I just reviewed a few of my weak spots, did some more labs and passed on the second try. And that pass, trust me, it feels absolutely amazing. So how does CCNA help me get a job in tech? So here's the interesting part. I actually got my first IT job before passing the CCNA. In interviews, I was upfront. I told them I was actively studying for CCNA and I hadn't passed it and that was hands-on with the home labs, the networking on Cisco Packet Tracer, and I could talk about the topics. I said to him, if I'm given the opportunity, I will pass the CCNA. That confidence and the ability to speak clearly about networking concepts helped me stand out. The CCNA gave me the structure and language even before I earned the certification. So I ended up getting hired as a network and systems technician. And that role basically gave me exactly the kind of experience I'd been working towards to get the certification. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking about doing CCNA or if you're already studying for another certification that's sort of in line with CCNA. 
And if you haven't already, this is a brand new channel. So subscribe and I'll be showing you more things to do with my journey to become a network engineer, including my home lab setup and day-to-day -day routine. Thanks for watching.